To power on the system, press the power button on the side of the system console. A system self-test and startup sequence begins. When the power-up sequence completes, system login appears. Enter the system login password. A default system login password of 1, 2, 3, 4 is assigned to every console. After installation, a custom password will be created. While a new system login password can be created anytime, doing so causes all study data currently stored on the system to be permanently deleted. After entering the correct system login password, the Acquire screen will appear on the touchscreen. The optional LTS is connected, verifying the LTS indicator is shown in white on the touchscreen. To start recording while using the PIM and LTS, press pullback on the console or press start button on the LTS. A green light on the pullback button illuminates when pullback is activated. When pullback starts, imaging and recording automatically starts if not previously started, and a vertical green reference line appears on the longitudinal image to indicate one millimeter intervals. To stop pullback, imaging, and recording simultaneously, simply press the image button on the console or the PIM. The field of view can be adjusted using the zoom function. Adjusting image depth optimizes the display of tissue structures in varying sized arteries. Press the zoom button to scroll through the 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter, and 6 millimeter diameter field of view. The diameter and graticule field of view are displayed on the lower left of the touchscreen when imaging. For example, at the default setting of 10 millimeters, there are 10 horizontal and 10 vertical graticules, each representing one millimeter field of view. Operating frequency. The HDI system operates at either standard definition 40 megahertz or high definition 60 megahertz. Press the 60 MHz button to select the desired image definition. When not illuminated, it indicates the system is using the 40 MHz frequency setting. The setting is also displayed in the lower left information block. As a quick note, the operating frequency can only be changed when recording is stopped. Turn on the HDI system console if it isn't already powered on. Using two operator sterile technique, remove the Kodama catheter and sterile sleeve from the package. The sterile operator starts by unfolding the sterile sleeve, making certain the sleeve attachment is on top of the fold out section. If the LTS is to be used, the non-sterile person inserts the PIM into the LTS carriage and slide the PIM and LTS carriage to its fully retracted position and lock it into place by pressing the manual button on the LTS. The manual indicator light should go out. The sterile operator then inserts their hands into the folds of the sterile sleeve and present the open end to the non-sterile operator. After the non-sterile operator inserts the PIM and LTS into the sterile sleeve opening, the sterile operator receives the PIM and LTS assembly by grasping it through the sterile sleeve. The non-sterile operator grasps the proximal end of the sterile sleeve and pulls it over the PIM and LTS cables. Care must be taken to prevent the non-sterile cables from contacting the sterile field. Placing the PIM and LTS assembly on a flat, even surface, the sterile operator secures the sterile sleeve to the PIM by fully seating the three pins on the sleeve into the nose of the PIM.
The sterile operator starts prepping the Kodama catheter by disconnecting the 10 milliliter syringe and filling it with sterile anticoagulant saline. Clear all the air bubbles and flush the dispenser coil using the coil's lure port. Filling the coil activates the hydrophilic coating. Refill the 10 milliliter syringe with sterile anticoagulant saline, clear all the air bubbles, and reconnect the syringe to the catheter stopcock. Rotate the stopcock on the extension set and fill the 3 milliliter syringe from the 10 milliliter syringe. The 10 milliliter syringe is used as a reservoir for refilling the 3 milliliter syringe. Rotate the stopcock so the 3 milliliter syringe is set to introduce anticoagulant saline into the catheter. The sterile operator may disconnect the proximal end of the Kodama catheter from the hoop and connect the catheter hub to the PIM nose through the sterile sleeve attachment. A discernible click indicates the catheter hub is fully seated on the PIM. Confirm the catheter indicator on the touchscreen turns from orange to white. Slide the sterile sleeve so the anchor window is over the groove on the front of the LTS. Leave sufficient folds of the sleeve material between the front of the LTS and the PIM nose allows free movement of the PIM and LTS assembly. While pressing the orange button on the side of the LTS, slide the telescope anchor into the LTS groove. Ensure the orange hook is fully closed and centered on the telescope anchor. Confirm mated indicator on the touchscreen turns from orange to white. Flush the Kodama catheter twice using the full 3 milliliter syringe. Press the manual button to release the PIM. Slide the PIM and LTS carriage all the way forward. Press the manual button again to lock the PIM into the forward position.